Our elders say that the rivers tell a story, and today the story is saying the Yakama Nation have returned Sockeye to the Cleella River, and they are now spawning and making their nests and laying their eggs. Traditionally, the Sockeye has been a staple for the Yakima Nation diet ever since the people started fishing for Sockeye eons ago. I think every member of our tribe should have a trip up here. This is the best aquarium in the state. Everything benefits from the salmon. It's a vital resource that's been missing for over 100 years. The elders spoke about the salmon in such numbers that they could walk across the backs of their salmon. My dad, my grandpa, everybody for generations were fishermen. I ate fish for every meal, you know, growing up. It's something that I look back on. I'm, you know, I'm very thankful for that. When you put those dams in front of lakes and there's no fish ladders for those fish to swim up, and you're just wiping out the fish, causing them to go to extinction. Our seasons were getting shortened and there was no fish, you know, and um, my first instinct was, I need, you know, I need to go work for fisheries. You know, we transport these fish, you know, we handle them directly, and this is my project, so I, I consider them my babies. This is the only salmon that utilizes uh, a lake system um, for their survival. They utilize the lake for our nursery, basically. What you're seeing today is sockeye that were transplanted from Priest Rapids Dam. There was a link that was missing. It was taken out of their survival. And so now that link has been put back into place. And now we're starting to see the survival of the salmon and the reproduction of the salmon. Once the fish ladders are put in place, you won't have to transplant those fish anymore. The sockeye salmon will be able to come up here and spawn naturally year after year, and the generations will continue to grow. The balance for all of our, our survival depends on that balance between uh, these fish, the forest, the water, and one is not without the other. The, the salmon and the salmon spawning runs actually have a lot to do with forest health. So with that, you know, we can expect to see a lot more wildlife come back into the area. I visited hatcheries clear up in Alaska, into Canada, and uh, nobody's ever done anything like this before. And I'm just, I'm very glad to be a part of it. One of our earliest memories that we're taught as Yakima children is we're sitting at a ceremonial table waiting for the water to be poured and that water gets poured and then what follows is the salmon, the uh, deer or elk, the roots and the berries and the meal is completed with water. So in a lot of the same way our restoration it starts that way. We fix the water first so that we know the other resources will follow and then we complete it with water so that we know it's a cycle and we know that any kind of restoration that has to happen with salmon has to include a holistic water for the basin.